I have these Suri Nightwalker lenses, which are manual focus. And although I do prefer manual focus over autofocus when I create shots like this, I still use autofocus. I have pressed the shutter button or back button autofocus and manual focus to dial in the focus. Using these cine lenses is a whole other level of manual focusing. I rarely dive into focus modes in any camera unless I feel like I'm trying to achieve a certain look of focus and everything I'm trying really isn't working. Which brings us here to this video. I took a deep dive into the manual focusing modes in the Fujifilm X-H1. I'm sure there's a lot more to the manual focusing, but I came up with these six steps to help with nailing critical focus. Step one, entering manual focus. First, let's switch the camera into manual focus. To do that, you want to turn your camera around facing you and you will see a dial at the bottom right of the, of the camera. If it is not facing you, it's the bottom left, but if it's facing you, it's the bottom right. And you want to make sure that that dial is turned to the letter M. M is for manual focus. If you want to know what the other two are for, the other two is continuous and single. Step two, activate focus assist. There are different manual focus assist features available in X-H1, including focus peaking, digital split, image, focus magnification, which are the three I'll be focusing on in this video. Now I do want to point out that all three of these features are not available in video mode. They are available in photo mode, but not video mode. And I'll talk more about that in a little bit, but I will say that digital split image is not available in video mode. I wish it was, but it's not. Step three, using focus peaking. You want to make sure the camera is on. The camera is set to manual focus. Uh, for this, we're going to be starting out in the focus mode setting, which I should have said a little bit earlier, but so we want to make sure that the dial on top of the camera right here is dead to the S. And with the S, we'll, which is basically single shot photo, we'll look at the photo section first. So let's press the manual OK button, which is right here. Press manual OK. Now we're going to go to AFMF. We're going to go to page two. And we're going to look at MF assist. And you can see right here on this first one, it's or the second one, you have standard digital split image and then focus peaking. So we'll look at focus peaking. And with that, you can also customize the color intensity of the peaking that you want. It is your preference. You have the white, red, blue, and yellow. I usually pick red high. I choose red high because I feel like it's the one that I can see the best. Step four, using digital split image. Now let's see what that looks like. So we're already in the menu, but in case you want to redo it, we can go back to the main, to the main screen or whatever. Then we can go to and press the menu OK button. We're already in the AFMF. You want to go to the second page to MF assist, go into here and you see digital split image. And there's two modes that you can choose from. There's monochrome and color. Now this is what they both look like. So if I choose monochrome first and I go back out, you can see here on monochrome, there is a gray box in the middle of the screen. And this is supposedly supposed to help you nail focus. Using this monochrome box gives you a different color than the scene that you're actually filming on screen, which allows you to see a little more or get your focus more in point. Uh, and now let's go back to the menu, manual focus assist, and we'll look what, see what the color looks like. Now with color, color gives you the same box, but it gives a little more contrast to the scene. You cannot move this box around, but it helps with checking focus and focus peaking is disabled when you use this mode. Although I wish it was, I wish it was still available because both of these features with the, you know, the little box, the split image and the manual focus, or I mean, or the focus peaking will help you with nailing critical focus when manual focusing. Step five, using focus magnification or focus check using swipe gestures. So let me show you what this looks like. So we want to go to the menu. We want to go down to the wrench icon, go down to the button dial settings, go to the FN, uh, the function FN settings. And the one that I chose is the T1, the T dash FN three. And that's basically swipe right. And you can see here that I chose it as the focus check. And what you can also do is you can press the trash button here and the display back button at the same time and it'll pull up that menu and then you can assign it without having to go to go through all of the all of the settings we just went through so now when you swipe right you have focus magnification which should help you nail critical focus now for this next one i am going to switch to the video mode and i'm going to use the same gesture i'm going to swipe right but with the back dial the back command dial that's right here, you can sw swipe it or go to left or right, and it will zoom in a little bit more to help you nail focus. 
And that's what it looks like with the focus magnification. And another thing is when you swipe right with the joystick, you're able to move around. And also if you swipe your finger with your finger, you can also move around the screen. But I find that it's better using the joystick to navigate around the screen. So the three focusing modes for manual focus that I found, I mostly use focus peaking, but you also have access to focus check. And you also have digital split image and the focus magnification to help you nail critical focus. Experiment with these focus assist tools to find what works best for you. Remember using the EVFs can give you more precise focusing because the EVF resolution is much better than the resolution on the screen. Like I said, I really dive into the menus to except for when it comes to solving problems like nailing critical focus, which I also took a deep dive into the Sony SM4 in this video right here. You can check that out while staying awesome. Stay awesome.